Well, hey, you look a bit worn down, my friend. Have a seat and join me, why don't you? Me? Well, I've seen, I've seen better days myself. But you know what always cheers me up when my, my stomach's empty and my mind's all full of woes? A good movie. Of course, I can't afford the rights to your fancy cinema theater movies, and I ain't no pirate either, so that kind of narrows down my options, don't it? Lucky for you, I got this here uh, projector machine, and I got nothing but the best of the public domain entertainment. Anyways, my friend, welcome aboard to the public domain train. Now let's see what's the first movie we got. Ah, Gulliver's Travels. If I, if I recall correctly, this was uh, Paramount's attempt to get even with Disney after Snow White came out in, uh, I was 12, so 39, I think. I don't know. The lead animator for a, a certain famous mouse, Ub Iwerks, that was his name, Ub, U-B, he was lured over to Fletchman's studio at the time, and they, they made Gulliver's Travels, but, uh, anyway, let's see if it rivals Snow White, huh? So that was Gulliver's Travels. Gotta love that old roto-scoped actor thing. That, that's when they, uh, they done traced a video frame by frame of someone acting the scene out, and, they, you know, they didn't, have to, they didn't have to draw these things up from scratch. Saves on cash, I guess, you know. Use actors for what they're used for. Anyway, next we got a, ooh, this is a pretty excited movie about dinosaurs. It's called The Lost World, and I'm not talking Jurassic Park 3. Or actually, I can't be talking Jurassic Park 3. Jurassic Park 2 was called The Lost World Jurassic. Uh, on with the show. So that was pretty cool, right? Seeing them stop motion dinos. Okay, maybe, maybe it wasn't as cool as your fancy $73 million Jurassic Parks, but uh, I'd still say it was pretty neat. Anyway, uh, oh, 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 I, I bet you didn't know what's in the public domain now. Star Wars, that's right. Star Wars, the George Lucas classic. I traded my best pair of wool socks for this movie, and uh, if, if you somehow haven't seen Star Wars, you're about to right here, right now, on the public domain train. Punch it. So it turns out that wasn't Star Wars. That was some Italian movie called Star Odyssey, often called Italian Star Wars, so I, I, I was ripped off. To be honest with you, I, I, I still enjoyed the movie, so not that bad, but I do miss those socks. Oh, what's that? Oh, my man, you're in for a treat this next one. It's, uh, <laughs> it's real bad. Have you heard of Ed Wood? You, you might not have seen his movies yourself, but you might have seen the, the Tim Burton movie about him starring uh, Johnny Depp. Now, Ed Wood was just as a young filmmaker, and uh, Ed wanted to make his, his visions come to life. The only problem is uh, his visions were kind of stupid. Anyway, here it is, the last film to ever feature the horror legend Bela Lugosi. Uh, sort of. Plan 9 from outer space. Let's go. So that was that. I told you it was pretty bad. You know, Bela Lugosi was gonna have a much larger part in this movie, but he died. Sadly, he died, so... They just had this guy pretending to be him through the whole movie. Pretty sad end for a horror legend, but you know, Dracula will always live on in our hearts. Speaking of horror legends... You ever heard of uh, George Romero, the guy who's like responsible for kind of popularizing zombies? You know, the Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead, and one that's in the public domain, the Night of the Living Dead. Now this movie, it's, uh, there's one scene that scared the hell out of me back in the day. It involves a little spade to garden shovel. You'll see it when you get there, and then try not to get annoyed by Barbara screaming. Coming up on the public domain train? The Night of the Living Dead. I told you, pretty spooky, right? Yeah, yeah, you were scared, I could tell. But, uh, that, that calls it for tonight. That's, that's tonight's look through at my, uh, collection of public domain movies. But I'll be back next time with a whole host of new ones. I'm talking, well, you'll have to tune in and see here on, uh, The Public Domain Train. Sponsored by Nunakin TV. Thanks for watching, folks. By the way, you're gonna...
finish that popcorn, I'm, I'm pretty hungry.